Hello everybody, this is Locke Minecraft, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on Group Manager and how to use it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download Group Manager and a chat manager of your choice. Here are chat, essentials, chat, and there's one that comes with packs, whatever you want. There's a lot of them. I'll link a few in the description that I pick just because. Um, I'm going to want you to run your server once you have those in your plugins folder. And uh, oh, there you go, go into your plugins folder, you're going to Group Manager folder. If you go into Worlds, then the one with your world name. We'll see a file called groups, open it up with notepad plus plus link in the description, and you will get this amazing pre-generated file. This is something that group manager does right. Um, I do prefer PEX. Um, I find they are pretty much equivalent. PEX is just my preference, so you can go with either. But um, the nice thing that group manager does is it generates a whole file for you that you can pretty much start your server off with. Um, you're obviously going to want to customize, but uh, that's not here or there. So first thing, permissions. Um, all the groups besides the default group, which um, in their case cannot build. Um, so you might want to set this to true. So pretty much when you join a server, you want people to be able to build. And um, that's all you're gonna need to do for this first group. You can obviously change the name to like noob or whatever you want. You can give them a prefix that has like their their title in it, like noob. And I'm not sure which color E is. Let's just make them blue so they can be blue. That's the color code, color code in the description. If you want to add permissions, you're going to have to delete these brackets. So what you do is brackets basically mean there's nothing there. So if you delete those and go four spaces in and then say we want builders to be able to kick people, we would do bucket.command.kick. Now if you don't know what this means, basically these lines of text under permissions are what are called permission nodes. So permission nodes are lines of text that are equivalent to commands. So bucket.command.kick, if you have this permission, what it'll do is you type slash kick, and it goes, all right, so that means this person needs bucket.command.kick. It goes, okay, they're in the builder group, which has all the inheritance, which has inherit, inherits permissions from default group. So it'll go through default and say, well, default doesn't have permission to do that. And then it'll go through these two global groups, which are something completely different, which we'll go over later. And it'll say, oh, do these two have permission to do it? Nope, they don't. Then it'll go through builder's permissions and it'll see, oh, there it is, bucket.command.kick, he can do that. If it doesn't find it anywhere, then it'll say, oh, he can't do that. So some default to yes, they can, but this one defaults to no, you can't. So that's how you add permissions. Um, if you want to add more inheritance, it's pretty simple. If you want your builders to be able to do everything a moderator can do, you just add the group name here. Um, I don't think we want that. Um, same thing, if you want to add permissions to the moderator group, we can give them bucket.command. Uh, what's another one? Dot ban. Sure. Dot ban. That's a simple one. So now you're my. Oh, I messed that up. You're going to want to add a hyphen and then a space. So it's four spaces, hyphen, space, and then your permission node. Um, that's pretty much it. You have to add permissions to all of these, however you want them. Prefixes, just if you stay within these two um, half quotes, I guess. Um, you can type anything you want besides tabs. Tabs will break your code. Um, various other symbols you don't want as well. Like there's lots of oop, messed that up. Um, there's lots of symbols you don't want to use. So stick to your parentheses, brackets, letters and numbers. Don't get too fancy because some things can cause problems. Um, tabs are the most the thing I see that most people mess up on. Um, a single tab messes up your entire code. Nothing works. So um, if you have problems, run it through a YML parser. It'll give you the line where the error occurs. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, real quick, I'm just going to show you guys how you can create your own group. So two spaces. We're going to call this group Notch. It's for Notch if he wants to go on this server that doesn't exist. Um, so one, two, three, four spaces in. We're going to set default to false because we don't want everyone to be Notch. Then we're going to set the permissions, and we're going to give Notch the permission to do... Um, essentials dot fly so he can fly oh wait I forgot the hyphen again so hyphen space essentials dot fly um, we're not going to allow notch to set a home um, just because to show you guys how to do negation it's the same as pex you do your hyphen your space and then a hy another hyphen and then your permission node um, you don't need a space a lot of people do this this is wrong you need to remove that space um, it also supports wild cards like this, so essentials dot star will let you have all the essentials permissions or something like bucket. Oh, forgot, I always forget this hyphen bucket dot 
command dot star you could use all the bucket permissions or something like this so negation and um, wild cards so but so you could block them from using all the bucket commands um, this would be irrelevant because it would see this up here and it would just ignore it wouldn't read any further but um this would allow notch to fly he would be allowed to set homes he would be allowed to do everything besides set home and essentials because it reads this first it reads from top to bottom so if it says you can fly and essentials it'll stop reading but if it's looking for something else and it can't find it um oh it's hard to explain but it reads top to bottom so if you have something that you want to negate always put it at the top because say if we give them this node uh one two three four space bucket dot command dot star and we want to block them from using bucket.command.ban well all it's going to see is it's going to go permissions hey bucket.command.star okay they can ban then it won't even bother reading this negation so what you need to do is you need to take the negation and put it before the wild card because otherwise it won't work so negations should always be at the top wild cards generally last so um that's pretty much it for group manager thank you for watching mm -hmm.